American Conversations here at Art St. Louis is an exhibit that I put together about a year ago, started thinking about we have an election cycle coming up and artists have visual voices about what is going on in the world. What people are talking about in their daily lives, at home, at the water cooler, <laughs> on the internet, in social media, is everything from celebrities and pop culture to poverty, food deserts, homelessness, gun control, the police, war in other places, war here on our own territory, families, parenting, children, childhood. So all of those experiences, and because there are 53 different artists, they are expressing those experiences from all their different walks of life, and they're all different ages, and in all their different media. So the piece that I have in an exhibit is Lost Childhood. The reason why I called it that was because, because of like so many shootings and traumas that children have to face growing up. Childhoods become distorted, like something that needs to be conquered instead of something that's just an experience, like something you just, as a part of life. And it's just, then it's getting easier. Now they're facing, now they're wondering how to like prevent like school shootings and all of these things. And it seems like no age group is safe. So I have two pieces in the show. One is titled Fruits of Our Labor and the other is titled Phantom Limb. Both of these are sort of broadly part of a large sort of series I've been doing probably for over 10 years where essentially what I'm doing is digesting all the sort of big topics that are going on in the day and things that I resonate with and then I try to kind of filter that topic into a kind of language that I've developed for myself. The work is figurative, narrative based, kind of allegory usually some kind of performance or ritual going on, meant to just bring up a dialogue, a conversation about a particular topic. I'm trying to provoke conversation, and maybe I'm trying to steer in a direction, but there's meant to be a certain level of ambiguity there, a certain level of mystery there, uh, because I don't want to hit it over the head, and I don't want to be illustrating a point Maybe the overall commentary is like, who are we? What is our identity? And then how are we being bombarded by all these other things, these large themes, these small themes? And then how do we adjust? How do we, you know, how do we deal with those things?